Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The Khasi Students' Union, or KSU, burned the Meghalaya Public Service Commission's MPSC effigy today in protest over the Commission's failure to reveal the marks of all candidates undergoing the MCS preliminary examination. Chairman of the KSU Employment Monitoring Cell, Ruben Najjar, termed the MPSC's stated justifications as an attempt to conceal something. He stated that the union will continue to protest until the MPSC agrees to its demand for transparency and the elimination of nepotism and favoritism in the Commission appointment. Meghalaya's GI tag Lakadong turmeric, widely regarded as the greatest turmeric in the world due to its extraordinarily high curcumin concentration, has been awarded two stars at the Great Taste Awards 2024. Deer Farmer, a London-based marketer, got the award for its product sourced from the northeastern state's Jantia Hills region, which is produced by native women using traditional farming methods. The famous golden spice from Lakadong in Meghalaya received appreciation for its vivid colour, warm aroma and strong flavours after being judged over 92 days with 13,671 other items from 115 nations. On Thursday, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma announced a new initiative to fight child marriage by awarding monthly stipends to female students from class 11 to post-graduation. The cabinet approved the Nijut Moina scheme, which will assist around 10 lakh students and has a budget of rupees 1,500 crore. Buddhadev Bhattacharya, the former Chief Minister of West Bengal and a CPM leader, passed away on August 8 morning in Kolkata after a long illness. Bhattacharya was West Bengal's second and last CPM Chief Minister, serving for 11 straight years from 2000 to 2011 during the Left Front's 34-year administration. He is survived by his wife Meena and his son Suchetan. In a significant step aimed at improving digital payment capabilities, the Reserve Bank of India RBI announced on Thursday an increase in the upper limit for tax payments via the Unified Payments Interface or UPI. The limit on transactions has been increased to Rs 5 lakh per transaction from Rs 1 lakh. This change is likely to bring significant ease to taxpayers, particularly for high-value transactions. The move to raise the limit aligns with the RBI's overall policy to boost digital payments and lessen reliance on cash. By allowing larger tax payments via UPI, the central bank hopes to encourage more taxpayers to use digital methods to settle their tax bills. The centre has approved the installation of Coverage 4.0, an advanced safety system, on 10,000 locomotives to prevent accidents and improve rail safety. Union Railway Minister Ashwini Vaishnav stated that the ministry intends to complete the installation procedure within the next two years. Coverage 4.0 can automatically control train speeds and apply brakes as needed to avoid accidents. Coverage is currently deployed on 1,465 kilometres of rail routes and 144 locomotives on the South Central Railway. The installation of Coverage 4.0 is projected to greatly improve rail safety and lower the probability of accidents. Vinish Pogat, an Indian wrestler, has announced her retirement from the sport after being disqualified for being overweight during the Olympic Games in Paris. The 29-year-old, who was slated to compete for the gold medal in the 50kg category, was found to be 100 grams overweight, resulting in her disqualification. Pogat announced her decision via social media, stating that she no longer had the power to wrestle. She also apologised to her mother and fans, claiming their dreams and her courage had been broken. On August 8, southern Japan was rocked by a series of severe earthquakes beginning with a 6.9 magnitude tremor and quickly followed by a 7.1 magnitude earthquake. Seismic activity occurred off the shore, causing the region to shake and prompting quick warnings. The initial quake struck at 4.42 p.m. local time, some 29 kilometers southeast of Miyazaki, Kyushu, at the depth of 33 kilometers. According to reports, less than a minute later, a second tremor struck 20 kilometers northeast of Miyazaki at the depth of 26 kilometers. Following the quakes, local officials allegedly issued a tsunami advisory for coastal areas and emergency response teams are actively inspecting damage and assuring public safety. Thank you for listening to Hub Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.hubnetwork.in. Download Hub News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at hubnetwork.in. Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela.